Hi, my name is Mrs. Hogan, and we're currently here with Emma's mom to go over her Emma's scores. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to start at the beginning. All right, so let's discuss Emma's scores. She's currently student number 12, and this is for the academic 2017 to 2018 and the 2018 to 2019 school year. She is currently in fourth grade. She has not been retained from 2017 to 2018. She is dyslexic, Caucasian, and not Hispanic or Latino, and she receives free and reduced lunch. So basically our scores are for the FSA, and that's a reading and a math score, and then we have star scores, which is also reading and math. So the FSA is a test on reading, writing, and math used to measure students' learning based on Florida standards. And the results are basically sent to our school to make sure we have the right process for them to improve. So here are our math scale. So basically level one is inadequate. Level two is below satisfactory. Level three is satisfactory. Level four is proficient and level five is mastery. And here are the numbers that are attached. We kind of want to get her to a level three to a level five. The highest is the better, but level three is where we would like her to be at the bottom. So here are her math data. So for 2017 to 2018, she scored a 316, which is actually pretty great. She is in level three, which is on target. And then she moved up 15 points from 2017 to 2019 and is still on a level three. So this is kind of where we want her to be. She's on target. We can improve her a little bit, but she's doing great. Do you have any questions so far? Yeah, if I ever wanted Emma to do tutoring, do you think that would help her score from a three go up to a four or five? A four and a five is definitely where we want to push her to be, but a three is great. But if you want to see her improve that much, I would definitely suggest tutoring or some one on time with me or her other teachers. So here's a comparison of her math scores to the district. The 2017 to 2018 is sitting at a three and the district wants her to be around a four. And for 2018 to 2019, she's also at a three and we're hoping for a four. So here is her ELA scale. So it's the same as one, two, three, four, and five. So if one is inadequate, two below satisfactory, three is satisfactory, four proficient, and five mastery. She is currently sitting at a 309 for the 2017 to 2018 year, which is a two. And she improved by nine points in 2018 to 2019, which is also at a two. So she's scoring slightly below target, but moving towards where she wants to be. She's on the higher end and we're hoping to push her up to a three within the next year. And here are just basically her scores. She's at a two, we wanna push her up to a three or a four. And that's the same for the 2018, 2019. And so but next we have the star scores. The STAR test is used to pinpoint student strengths and deficiencies in reading and offer specific insight to which areas need improvement. It provides data for teachers on students' achievements and what they need to work on. So I get the data and I get to choose what she needs to work on and help her improve. So here is an example of the levels of where she would be at. So we have the green, the blue, the yellow, and the red again. Green is at or above benchmark. And here are the numbers. Blue is on watch, yellow is intervention, and red is urgent intervention. So for her star math data, she was at August at a 59, December a 51, and April an 88. So she went down eight points in August to December, but then she increased by 37 points from December to April. I don't know if you remember, but that's when we worked in um, counseling with her and we worked one-on-one -on -one in um, counseling with her. And so her score went up by 37 points. She is currently at an above benchmark, which is where the green is. So then for her reading data, she started at an eight, which is very, very low for her um, level. It was at urgent intervention. 
but with is help my child she... gonna fail oh my gosh no your child is not gonna fail we are moving her up see she moved up from a t eight to a 28 which is absolutely amazing i'm so proud of her she increased by 20 points and then she increased by one more which she is still currently on the on watch stage but we are working with her in class and in special classes to help her improve. And so here are our recommendations for both you and for Emma so we can improve her scores. So we are establishing effective classroom activities, discussions and tasks that move her learning targets. And we use accommodation and interventions with Emma. We provide high quality feedback and we're encouraging her to use fellow peers and guidance for guidance and help. I will also be helping her one on one. And if you want, we can invest in some tutoring and that'll definitely bring her scores up to where we need. Do you have any more questions for me? No, I don't think so. All right. Thank you.